Limb girdle muscular dystrophies are caused by gene mutations that lead to defects in various proteins in the muscle fiber. Defects can cause problems anywhere in the muscle fiber, including the inner nuclear envelope membrane, the sarcomere, the sarcoplasm, or the sarcolemma. Sarcolemma maintenance, repair, trafficking, and signal transduction may be impaired. In addition, the extracellular space, or even the extracellular matrix, may be affected. To date, more than 35 genes have been associated with the limb girdle muscular dystrophies. The reality is that likely more than 200 genes can lead to a limb girdle phenotype. Inheritance of limb girdle muscular dystrophies can be dominant or recessive, with recessive inheritance being far more common than dominant inheritance. Because most limb girdle muscular dystrophies are recessive, a family history may be unrevealing. The relative prevalence of limb girdle muscular dystrophies has been ascertained throughout the United States. Among the most common forms are the calpinopathies, dysferlinopathies, collagen 6 disorders, sarcoglycanopathies, enoctamin 5 related disorders, and fukutin related protein muscular dystrophy. It's noteworthy that on the east coast of the United States, the calpanopathies are the most prevalent of the limb girdle muscular dystrophies. This likely also holds true in the central U.S. In contrast, in the West, particularly on the West Coast, dysferlinopathies are most common because of the greater prevalence of this disease in Asian and Hispanic populations.